let's get stuck into these items I bought from the charity shop. Really excited to show you, so let's get into it. <laughs> Here's the bag. This bag is quite full and it's got quite some heavy items in today because I am trying to venture out into not just clothing, but again, I'm experimenting so I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. So it's mainly clothing. And the first item I bought was this top. Now, this brand isn't anything special. But it's a nice floral top. And I think, is it a Matalan brand? Papaya Classics? It is a size 12. However, I bought it for the material. Because as soon as I saw it, I thought, ooh, that is a bit of linen, that is. Now, it is. It's Matalan, yeah. And I knew this in the shop, but it's 57% linen, 43% viscose. And this time of year, linen does sell really well. So I have bought it and it was £3.50. Linen tends to sell really well, especially now it's starting to warm up. So that is just a quick and easy, hopefully, list. So that was the reason for that one. Next item, a lot of these are T-shirts, by the way, a lot of them. But T-shirts, I love listing because they're quick and easy and... Depending on what they are, they can sell quite well. But this is an old guy's rule t-shirt. So here is the t-shirt. So this is very similar to the Jack Daniels logo. Old guy's rule. And it is a size large. And £3.50 for that one, so not too bad. I don't know if it's a Father's Day style t-shirt, actually. Number one, Dad. Not sure. But quick and easy. These old guys rule t-shirts do sell for about £15, £20. So I always look out for these because they can sell really well. If it's a Father's Day t-shirt, it might not do so well now. But you never know. Somebody might pick that up for their dad. Hopefully. <laughs> now this t-shirt, ah, yes, I couldn't remember for a minute. This is a t-shirt. I think this brand sells okay. I've got a jumper of this brand that I need to sort out and sell. But that's basically what it says. It's a red t-shirt. It's by Plain Lazy. This is a medium. And I think this brand sells well. I don't know. I've not sold anything by them. I've got a jumper that I need to list, like I say. £3.50. But I don't know, maybe £15, £20 for that. T-shirts are great to do for this time of year. It's also got their little touches there. But I think this one's an all right brand because it's quite novelty, isn't it? So I'm hoping that should be okay. A lot of this is experimental, <laughs> as you can tell. Now, another one. I have no idea what this brand is, but it was brand new with tags and it looks pretty cool. So, never heard of this. And I need to do a bit of research because it's probably not worth that much, but never mind. But this is the design. That's the design there. It's like a biker sort of design and it says Aldi's Club. So that's like the brand, I guess. And it's not a Primark special, nothing like that. It's a size medium. And that is the tag, Aldi's Club. Never heard of this brand before. And it is brand new tag. Somebody's ripped that bit off there. I don't know if another place has sold this because it says what's recommended price and then their price so like hmv or something i don't know you know sometimes you can go into a shop and then they sell other people's items on for cheaper i don't know how much it should have been i've not researched it but it was 3.99 brand new with tags i tend to look out for items brand new with tags depending on what they are this time of year because there's a lot of people riding motorbikes people who are into bikes classic cars hot rods drag racing sort of like motorsports and stuff maybe somebody wear it obviously if you are riding a bike please wear your leathers and a helmet i'm not gonna get into the ins and outs of that please don't be riding around in a t-shirt and jogging bottoms if you are riding a motorbike please be sensible i'm not implying someone's gonna buy this and ride their bike but it might be just for somebody who's interested in bikes so never heard of the brand it's worth experimenting isn't it it's a brand you don't know of well that's my approach and it's not a very good approach <laughs> so this is another brand that i do pick up quite a lot during the summer and it's sea salt this is a nice design it's like a v-neck sort of there we go v-neck three quarter sleeves that's the design like naturey sort of print it is a thicker sort of material so it's probably better for the autumn time actually 
but it's sea salt it's organic cotton and it's a size 12 i love picking up sea salt items because they sell really well for me so it is an item that i do tend to pick up these are also a brand that i look out for in smaller sizes because they do well in smaller sizes as well sometimes you might have to wait a little bit longer for them to sell but they do tend to go at the price you've put them up for but 549 i don't think that was too bad for sea salt because i can probably sell that for 25 pounds something like that i need to research it because i don't really know i might leave it a little bit longer into the year because it is quite thick this is this material so it might be a bit too warm to wear this time of year another item is another sea salt top so i was on a roll with these sea salt items this is very summery and very lightweight so perfect for this time of year but i quite like that it's a nice green color sort of like a nice sort of greeny sort of summery colour and it's sea salt cornwall and it is organic cotton as all of their items usually are i think most of them are anyway and it's a size 12 so that's not too bad it's really nice lightweight like i say and it's five pound 45 so I am going to get that listed as soon as possible. Hopefully by the time this video is out, it might already be on eBay. It might already be sold. <laughs> That's wishful thinking. But I'm quite hopeful because sea salt does sell really well for me. So hopefully that'll be a nice sale. So another t-shirt. It's all t-shirts, isn't it? It's like a show and tell, isn't it, this? <laughs> you know, when you're at school, when you're like, I'm going to bring in this item and show the class and talk about it in great detail. This is this is what this reminds me of. So this is like, hello, class. Today, I've got my reselling haul and I'm so excited to show you all. <laughs> yeah, right, back to it. This is a Budweiser t-shirt. Like a reddish sort of colour, brownie reddish sort of claret. <laughs> That's a word I don't really want to use much. And we've got Budweiser, but it is, surprise, surprise, Primark, Cedarwood State. I'm so excited about this look. <laughs> no, I always pick up a Primark t-shirt, don't I? It's a size medium. And although it's Primark, because of the design, I knew it was Primark in the shop, but because of the design, I did still pick it up because this sort of stuff, these sort of, Prints do tend to sell well, depending on what they are. If it's a plain t-shirt by Primark, I won't pick it up. And it was only £2.50, so I might list it for about £15, something like that. But you can sell Primark t-shirts really well. I know I've had people say to me, why are you bothering with Primark? But if you can get a profit from it, then why are you not going to sell it? It sells okay for me, so I always pick them up. And I know some people don't agree with it, but if it works, it works. I am going to keep rolling with it. Now, this is a Quicksilver t-shirt. It's blue. It's a lovely colour blue, actually. I like that. And that print there. So we've got their design, their sort of logo that they, they do, which I think is usually quite nice. It's Quicksilver and it's a size... Is it small? Small, I think it is. Regular fit, size small. Which doesn't matter because it was £2.50. So something to pop on eBay. Hopefully Quicksilver tends to sell all right for me, to be fair. So I put it up for maybe £15, £20. I need to again research, but but we'll see. What's just come through the letterbox? I've just had some posts come through. Then we've got this T-shirt, which is again a Star Wars theme. If you can see that and this is by a brand that does sell okay for me it's by chunk clothing and it's a size medium and it was two pound fifty so i've picked that up purely because they do tend to sell well it's quite novelty and you've got this bit of design on the back and you've got their little touches as well by the brand and there's something else down here as well usually and it just says chunk like chunk clothing so i've sold one of these t-shirts for 25 pounds before so i do always tend to keep an eye out and pick them up i have got one on ebay at the moment which has got a lot of attention and i think a couple of watches but not really sold yet but hopefully these will start to sell so this is the second one i'll have listed but you can sell them for about 25 pounds they do tend to be quite popular to be fair 
Now, another item. Let's put this back here. This is a skirt. Now, this is a lady's skirt. This is really nice. Lovely pattern on that. That is really nice. Now, this will be perfect for, like, going out for the afternoon or, I don't know, a wedding or a christening or some sort of party or event. It is by Oasis. So, that brand's okay. And it's a size 8, so it is a smaller size. The only reason I picked this up is because I have bought Oasis items before and they have sold really well. And I, I think it was an Oasis skirt, a size 8, I think it was before. And I sold it for about £25. So it's worth looking at. It's got a slip there and it is lined. So it is fully lined. And it was £2.50. And again, that's the reason why I picked it up. But hopefully now we're coming into some nicer weather. Hopefully that will sell it. Now we've got a top I've never bought before. Apparently this brand is good. I might be barking up the wrong tree, but I love the colour of this as well. This is a beautiful purple. I love the colour purple. That does not do it justice. It is absolutely stunning. It looks more blue on the camera. Does it look blue? <laughs> this beautiful. And it's zipped at the back. That's how it fastens. It's like some sort of tunic very nice and it's by whistles i'm pretty sure this is a good brand but i don't know i might be going a bit mad there but this is in very good condition it's a size 10 and it is lined and it just feels good quality now this i paid five pound 45 for which wasn't too bad i don't think and I think these items tend to go really well. I don't know. I might be going a bit mad and I'm not sure. But I need to do a bit of research. But I'm pretty sure this brand is okay. So we'll see. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is it a good brand? Another item I've picked up. I'm being taken over by the bag. Let's push it over there. This is more for the winter. The autumn winter. I'm going to list this. Because this time of year is ridiculous. Because when you see it, you'll realise why. Now this is a big thick woolly jumper. When I say woolly jumper, I will tell you in a minute the material. <laughs> but this is a big, thick, knitted jumper. This is a nice colour, like a creamy sort of colour. And it's got the little touches there. But it's by a brand called Belfield. And it's a medium. I don't know if this brand is good. My feeling is that it is a good brand. But I don't know for sure. It just looks like it potentially could be a good brand. There's the label. And we've also got, so it is a wool blend. It's 15% wool and then it's 85% acrylic. So we've got that. And I paid £5 for that. So probably a bit much. I don't know. But I think it might be a good brand. <laughs> I might be talking rubbish as always. I'm not going to put it on until like September, October time. I've got a few jumpers to list later on in the year and a few coats. So what I tend to do is when I'm in charity shops, I know this was £5, but sometimes you can get coats and jumpers, winter items really cheap this time of year. So what I tend to do is if I am in charity shops, I will pick some items up, store them away. And then I've got items that I can start to list and put on eBay about September, October time. I do the same with summer items. So summer items, sometimes charity shops have a bit of a sale or they want to get rid of stuff quickly. And sometimes they reduce the summer items. So I'll tend to, in the winter, build my stock of summer items up. So I've got stuff always to list. And it's just planning ahead, really. So that's the reason I bought that jumper. I don't know if it's a good brand. My feeling is that it potentially is, but I don't know. And the next item, this item's really nice. And I did think that I bought it mainly because I liked it. <laughs> but I bought it for the brand as well. And I don't know, it was really cheap. So this is the, it's like a scarf. And I thought that's really, really nice. It's a beautiful colour. I don't think the camera's doing it justice, but these pinks are absolutely beautiful. And it's so, so nice. It's like a delicate sort of pink. It feels very satin. It's not silk or anything but it is by it's vintage it's st michael so i only paid a pound for it so i am going to pop it on ebay and see how it does i did buy it with the intention of reselling 
But I did think that's really nice. It's lovely colours in it. But I'll see how it does. But for a pound, I like picking up scarves and I like looking out for scarves because sometimes you can get a bargain with them. Now, this item I did pick up, I'm going to, it's brand new. I'm going to put it on eBay Christmas time or that time of the year. Now, it is these, what are they? Hand warmers. So it's by Aroma Home, cozy up. And it's brand new, sealed. And I paid £2 for it, which I don't know, that might have been a bit too much. But I think maybe Christmas time, I'll put it up for £12.99 and see how it does. There are a few of these listed at the moment and they are selling for like £2, £3 anywhere up to like £10. I think I did see one for £12. But Christmas time when people are looking for presents, hopefully that will just be something quick and easy to list on eBay. Brand new and sealed so worth, worth trying this item as well was a bit of an experiment and it was the color that drew me to it and i thought what's that <laughs> out of curiosity because sometimes in charity shops you see all sorts of weird and wonderful things and i like to be nosy and see and see what items are and this was one of them and i ended up buying it so this color is very different very very different very very bright i don't know if the camera's picking it up when i'm editing i'll probably say oh it is quite bright actually i'll probably see it for its glory but yeah this jacket i'm taking a risk with i'm not going to list it until later on in the year but it's by alexon i've never heard of this brand ever alexon and it's a size 12 but it was for the material as well wherever i can see it it's a wool blend so it's 10 percent wool so it's not that good but it's 10 percent wool and then acrylic it'll be 90 percent acrylic yeah and i only paid three pound 50 for it and i thought i don't know if it's anything special but i'll pop it on ebay and for 350 yeah it's worth a risk I say that about everything. I need this is this is why I'm not very good at reselling. It's worth a risk. It's an experiment. I don't know what I'm doing. Basically winging it, but uh, yes, we'll see. I don't know how well it's going to do. It might not do well at all, and I might have it for the next two years. But <laughs> it's an experiment. <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard the brand before, so it's worth it. A couple of items now that aren't clothing. I mean, you're going to pass out in shock because I only ever buy clothing. But these are heavy. Right. And I need to calculate the weight and the postage on this. These, I don't know how well they're going to do. I've had a quick look on eBay and prices are all over the place. But this might be not very good. But I've, I've bought it now, so tough. Now, it's Roll Doll Collection. Now, these books have been used and they are hopefully all there. I need to check that they're the correct ones and I need to have a quick flick through them to make sure they're in good condition. And they're the ones that should be in there on the back. Now, on the back of this, on the bottom, I don't know when they were published, to be fair. I think they're quite modern. Recommended retail price, 98.85. Recommended retail price, 98.85, but I'm not going to price them for that because i think that is steep considering they're second hand and i just need to double check to make sure they're all correct and present now i've paid five pounds for this which i didn't think was too bad i bought some dr seuss books previously last year and they had a lot of attention and sold really well i think i i can't remember but i went through a phase of finding loads of dr seuss collection books like this sort of box set style books and I think I sold one for about 55 quid. Absolutely crazy. And I only spent a fiver on them. <laughs> Which is why now I'm thinking, do these sell better? I've got no idea. I don't buy books. So I haven't got a clue. I don't know how well they're going to do. But I'm going to do a bit of research. And I'm not going to put them on eBay straight away. I need to check them to make sure they all look okay. And they are all what they should be. But £5, pounds, I thought that was quite good for that second hand and they have been used so i don't know now this is another book rolled on and it's a collection of books i only paid a pound for this and this looks like it's in all right condition obviously it has been used it looks in all right condition i don't think it has got a bookmark in here it's got somebody's bookmark in there but apart from that it looks like it's in okay condition now for a pound i didn't think that was too bad 
it might not be worth anything it might just be worth £1.50 on eBay but I've bought it now there's quite a few of these on eBay and as you know I don't check comps whilst I'm out and about and that is sometimes my downfall but although there's a lot on eBay it doesn't mean it won't sell so I'm still going to list it and hope for the best <laughs> and then these now these are really cool and there's only two of these and I think they might be a collection I don't know I want to just show you so these Garfield books never seen them before Garfield is really cool and I only paid £1.50 for that but they're like when you go into it so for example I'm going to show you here it's like cartoons you know the traditional comic strips those sort of those sort of things and it really cool now £1.50 I don't know when they were made I think these are old books you know i don't know if they are that old i'll have to have a look into it anyway and then i bought another garfield book which is exactly the same but treasury four and it's exactly the same well it's not exactly the same but it's the same style i haven't got i didn't find one or two in this shop maybe one or two are valuable <laughs> but i didn't find them they might be worth absolutely nothing but one pound fifty i don't know if to bundle them up I don't know how well they're going to do, but £1.50, so £3, they might not be worth anything. I don't need to keep an eye out for Treasury 1 or 2. I need to do more research into it because I haven't got a clue. And that is the charity shop haul for today. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm going to leave it there for now and I will see you soon.